Hi, I'm Don Vappi from New Orleans. And I'm Victor Goins from New Orleans. And we're going to sort of touch on the banjo's role, uh, sort of that transition period from banjo to guitar. Uh, early on, a lot of the New Orleans bands, and most of them had banjos. Although, the earliest photo we have of Buddy Bolden, there was a guitar player in the band. Now, um, my opinion on this is, especially with the tenor banjo, which showed up around 1905, because it's tuned in fifths, it really does cut through, and you don't have to really play it so hard. Just the natural harmonic nature of it cuts through with a band with a lot of horns. And as time went on, from the teens, the 19 teens, into the 20s, the bands got bigger because the dance halls got bigger. So the banjo really worked up to that point. And in Duke Ellington's band, which is what we're going to kind of focus on a little bit right now, there was Elmer Snowden, who was the banjo player in the very beginning. Then it was Fred Guy. And after that, it sort of went to guitar. When I play, you might notice that I sort of accent the two and four beats, the, up, the uh, syncopated beats of it. It's, it's sort of, that's, that's just the jazz part of what things are. That's, that's a feel I naturally do it just from being from New Orleans. Uh, I guess I could show you a little example of that. Uh, this is just a straight four. Now, if I was accenting like I would normally play if I'm dancing or something. But if I was playing, say, in a bluegrass band, it would be... Just turned around. But that sort of helps the bounce. And a lot of the dances at, at that time, the bands played for dancers. And it gave it that bounce. But we should touch on a little Duke, man. I think one reason they switched to guitar was because the banjo can be sort of um, harsh, I guess would be the, the sound. The guitar has a, a more, a, more of a range in terms of um, being able to play uh, more uh, harmonic uh, variations. Plus it blends well in the context of a larger rhythm section. Do you think that acoustical component you're speaking about has something to do with the fact that the banjo as a part of the percussion family, as opposed to the guitar, part of the string family? Exactly, because also the drum sets were developing at that time as well, and we were moving away from the snare drum and using cymbals and the bass drums. You had more drums. You can see when Chick Webb gets into right. it later on how the sets get bigger. So you really don't need this percussive instrument. So you want to play Mood Indigo? I thought you'd <laughs> never ask. I thought I'd never ask. Let's just play the first half of Mood Indigo. Okay, and I'm going to try to play it as pretty as I can on the banjo. So. One, two, three. 